situated. These chairs don't fit me too well. Okay. <clears throat> well, Harry, good morning. Good morning, Bobby. How are you? I'm fine. You should feel very good because I think Hope Floats is going to take off. Oh, I, good. I really enjoyed this film. Thank you. Loved Thank your you. performance in it. Thank you very much. How does a guy from New Orleans transform himself into a small town Texan? <laughs> I tell you what, you, you think it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I, I just can't believe the difference between Louisiana and Texas. I mean, they're right next door to each other, but I thought about that so much. I said, these cultures are so completely different, you know? Um, I just really had to get into that head, you know, and spend some time down there and talk to my wife, but she's from Lubbock, you know, so I had to really pick her brain about Texas and, and think about it and hear the people talk and watch them eat and it's, it's just a different, a different world, you know. Watch them eat? You got to watch them eat, man. Because like in Louisiana, you know, you suck crawfish heads and stuff like that, you know, you, you just have to watch them like suck all the barbecue sauce off their fingers and just watch. I guess that sounded weird watching me, <laughs> but you do, you have to watch me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Harry, what is it about your musical background that helps you as an actor? I, I, I think, um, if anything, it's just the love to perform, you know, and there's a certain confidence level that accompanies that. Uh, when the camera's rolling, it's just, a, you feel very comfortable, you know, it's a, it's a nice feeling because it allows you to concentrate on what you're doing. But I think that's, that's about the only thing that, that, that goes over and crosses that line, you know. They're, they're pretty different, I think, singing and, and acting. Did you have any say-so about the music for Zero. This? They didn't ask me anything, you know. I would hear them listening to music and stuff, but I was so happy to be a part of this, you know, just as an actor that I, I wasn't interested in contributing even if they had asked, you know, but they didn't. <laughs> they, they could care less what I thought. But didn't you uh, kind of woo Sandra a little bit well, by singing know, to her? I didn't intend to woo her. All I wanted to do was, she was telling me about this, this date she went on and the, the people screwed up Fly Me to the Moon on the date. They, they, the singer messed it up. I said, well, I should have been there. I could have sung it to y'all. So I started singing it to her. And before I knew it, the whole room was listening to me. And I didn't mean for that to happen. you know. <laughs> uh, but I ended up singing the whole song. So if that had anything to do with my getting the role, I'm very indebted to my singing. <laughs> That's a great song. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, is. But isn't it really titled? Uh, in other words. In other words. That's right. That's right. Um, pe I guess people call it Flyman to the Moon just because it's said in the song, you know? Yes, there are a lot of songs like that that yeah. people request. And <laughs> right. And it's usually not the correct title. That's right. That's right. Uh, there, were, there was talk at one time, I believe, about you doing a Sinatra project. Mm -hmm. What's the status of that? I think the only time they, that it got to me was when they did that TV miniseries. And I don't even know if they were really interested in me or if it was just a rumor, but I, I just wasn't interested in, in doing that. I, I think he's a fascinating man, and, and he's certainly my favorite singer of that style of music. But I just can't think of anything that I would rather not do. I mean, that's what I do for a living, and I just don't, it's, it's too, too close to what I do. I sing already, you know. I don't see why how that would be so interesting to to, to play him in a, in a film, you know. Do you live for the day when uh, you will be known as Harry Connick Jr. actor, singer, oh, rather I, than singer actor? Oh, you know, it, I, I go to these towns when I when I'm on tour and people come up to me and ask me what I'm doing there. I said, well, I'm performing. They said, are you doing a movie here? They don't even know I'm a musician at all. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of people who, who aren't aware of the fact that I'm a musician and a lot of people who aren't aware of the fact that I'm an actor, so it doesn't, doesn't really make a difference. You know, as long as I can do both, I, I'd like to continue doing both. That's kind of neat because you have audiences it's, on both sides. It's crazy. It's really wild. I, I showed up to a music video that, for one of my songs, and one of the people on the set that was working there said, I didn't know you sang. He thought I was, <laughs> I don't know what he thought I was doing, you know, so he didn't even know I was a singer. I thought you were the director. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Do you have another acting role coming up? There's a couple of things that I'm looking at. And fortunately for me, I have uh, the luxury of taking the time. I don't have to take everything that comes along to pay the light bill, so I can really pick and choose. You know, um, So I'm looking at a couple of things now. Well, again, I enjoyed you very much in Hope Floats. Thank you. 
you're, you play a good old Texas boy yeah. right on target. Oh, that's really nice. Thank, Thank you, you, Harry. Good to see you again. <laughs>
the luxury of taking the time. I don't have to take everything that comes along to pay the light bill, so I can really pick and choose, you know. Um, so I'm looking at a couple of things now. Well, again, I enjoyed you very much in Hope Floats. Thank you. You're, you play a good old Texas boy yeah. right on target. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Harry. Good to see you again. <laughs>